Hey, today I want to share a personal story about breaking out of my comfort zone of what I once considered to be convenient choices and stepping into a lifestyle that's not just about the physical aspect of wellness, but the mental and communal connection too. It's about two significant shifts. My move from recorded fitness classes to live streaming ones and the transformation of my dining habits from frequent restaurant meals to embracing the adventure that is cooking at home. The first leap came with my fitness routine. I, I follow Lee Holden. I was a devout follower of his recorded workout sessions, cherishing the ability to hit play whenever it suited me, or more honestly, whenever I could actually get a little motivation going. That was until I discovered the world of live streaming classes, where not only could he see me, but I was part of a vibrant community, even though we were all miles apart. This shift wasn't about convenience. It turned out it was about connection. Being on camera added a layer of accountability I didn't even realize I was missing, and this was huge for me personally. It replicated that in-person class vibe, pushing me to work harder, staying committed, and honestly, actually showing up. What once seemed like a step back in convenience turned out to be a massive leap forward for my personal fitness. The sense of belonging, the real-time feedback, the communal struggle and triumph, it was all there. And suddenly, the on-demand stream seemed to pale in comparison. Simultaneously, a parallel transformation was happening in my kitchen. Eating out had been our norm for the longest time. It was quick, it was easy, it was fun, and it offered variety without the hassle of dirty dishes. And quite honestly, it had become an addiction. We decided to make a change. As we began to swap restaurant visits with home-cooked meals, we not only started saving a considerable amount of cash, I added up how much we spent a month. Do you want an eye-opener? Do the same. But I also discovered the unparalleled joy of knowing exactly what went into our food. Each ingredient was chosen by us, for us, aligning perfectly with our wellness goals instead of the addictive ingredients added by restaurant chefs. This wasn't about whipping up gourmet meals every night, but about rekindling the simple pleasure of cooking, a practice we'd signed line for the sake of convenience. Hey, those of you that know us, we're actually pretty boring. I, I eat eggs, sausage, or bacon for my breakfast and steak for dinner. Peggy eats eggs for breakfast and then fish and above-ground veggies for dinner. And it's pretty much the same thing every day. So this process became more than about nutrition. It was a meditative time for creativity. It, it was a far cry from the passive act of ordering from a menu. What I learned from both these shifts was profound. Convenience in its traditional sense often comes at the cost of deeper, more meaningful experiences be it the rich interaction of life fitness classes or the mindful preparation and enjoyment of home-cooked meals. By choosing paths that seemed less convenient, both Peggy and I inadvertently enriched our life in ways we had not anticipated. So here's my invitation to you. Take a moment to reflect on your own routines. Is there an aspect of your life where opting for a slightly less convenient option might actually enrich your experience? Whether it's joining in a live class to feel part of a community or trading takeaway for that adventure of cooking, let me encourage you to give that a shot. In embracing these small inconveniences, we open the door to a more connected, aware, and ultimately fulfilling life. Here's to finding our own paths to wellness filled with real interactions, genuine laughs, and maybe mindful meals. Hey, move well, stay healthy, be happy, and remember sometimes the less convenient option can lead to the most rewarding journey.